and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Halloween tutorial. This one is inspired by a jack-o-lantern. It is super easy to do and it's perfect if you need a last minute costume idea. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and keep on watching if you'd like to see how I achieve this. I'm taking this color onto my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to start working this into my crease. Unfortunately this palette does not have a name or brand so I do apologize but I decided to include pictures as a reference so you can see what colors I use and you can just use something similar. To apply this next eyeshadow I did switch brushes. I'm using my Sephora number 27 and as you can see I just worked it on the outer portion of my eye and again into my crease. Still using my number 27 brush from Sephora, I'm just taking my next shade and again working it into my crease. I'm really just trying to build a color here. For this next color, I switched off to my LA Colors eyeshadow blender and you guessed it, this is going right in the crease as well. Using that same brush, I am just taking this color and continuing to build in my crease. Still using that LA Colors brush, I am just taking the color Password from the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and of course adding that into my crease. Now I am taking the color Smolder and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid and I'm just using one of the brushes that comes in the Naked Palettes. Now I am taking the color Black Market and applying this using an e.l.f. contour brush and once I started applying this I noticed it looks pretty similar to Smolder so if you wanted to you could really just skip the step and take Smolder and apply it all over your eyelid. For my face I am just taking my Physicians Formula Argan Oil Primer and just applying this all over my face. For foundation, I am just using my Rimmel London Match Perfection and I am applying that with an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and I am just going to be buffing that in. Using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I am just going to be doing a patting motion all over my face to really push the foundation into my skin. Taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, I am just going to conceal and highlight my under eyes, forehead, nose, and chin. And then I'm going to be blending that out with the same brush that we used for our foundation. Now I'm just taking my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and my Sigma F30 brush to set my entire face. Taking my Hoola Benefit Bronzer and the brush that comes with it, I am just going to start warming up my face and just contouring a little bit. Going back in with this color here and my Sephora number 27 brush, I'm going to sort of contour the edges of my nose except I'm going to start blending this out um, so it sort of joins the rest of the eyeshadow that's going to go beneath my eye. A little hard to explain but just keep watching. For my under eyes, I am just using the colors from the first palette that I showed you guys so honestly just reach for browns and mauve colors. The colors that are going to give that appearance that you are tired. Now I am taking the color password from the Smoky palette and just applying this to my lower lash line and blending it down.
Next, I am just taking my VIP Gold Glitter Liner by Sephora and creating a line underneath my eye. It does not have to be perfect, but I do like pointing the end out a little bit. I just think it looks better. And before I do the same to the top, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shading using the same colors we just used. I decided to go back in with that color password and deepen it up a little bit more underneath my lash line. Unfortunately, I do not know which brush I am using. It does not have a name, but it is just a flat eyeshadow brush. Here I am just applying the Revlon Colorstay Black Eyeliner to my waterline. And then after that, I'm going to be applying mascara. I am using the Maybelline 1x1 Volume Express. Now I am just drawing a triangular shape onto my nose and I am just using a black face paint that I picked up from my local craft store. Using that same black face paint I am just carving out and filling in my jack-o'-lantern mouth and if you want to know which black face paint I am using, make sure you check the description box down below. I decided I wanted to add a little bit more dimension and depth to the perimeter of my face so I'm just taking some of the eyeshadows we used earlier and I am just applying that with the same tapered blending brush that I was using before, that Sigma E40.